Virtual Reality by David W. Daniels I have achieved enlightenment. I am God. I have all power. I can have anything I want. Gold, girls, glory. All I have to do is claim it. I create the sky, hills, everything. There is nothing outside of my power. Hey, why are you in my world? What do you guys think you're doing? It's VR. You should try it. What can VR give me that I don't already have? Find out. Learn about where you came from, why you're here, and where you're going. No thanks. I like my own reality. Just the way it is. See ya. If you change your mind, we'll be right here the next day. I'm bored. There are no more achievements to earn. I have all I want, but that's not what I really... You again? Why don't you guys just go away? Try the goggles. Come on. What do you have to lose? Yeah, maybe it'll be fun. Great, Scott. Where am I? The Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Cool. I get a narrator. The first humans tried to be as gods, but their rebellion cost them paradise. Nice sword. So their children made their own gods. Let me release you from this tree so I can worship you, Father Cyprus. What a nutcase. Professing themselves to be wise, they did wicked things to please their fake gods. A bit obsessive. Their hearts became totally evil. Finally, God had enough. God judged the whole world with a flood. Come with me if you want to live. Noah's a crazy ark-building conspiracy nut. He can't even close that huge slam. And the Lord shut him in. Every land-dwelling, air-breathing animal not in that ship died. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. But even after the world of evil people was destroyed. That's one big boat. Noah's descendants were no better. God commanded them to spread out and cover the earth with him as their God. In their pride, they rebelled and started to build a one-world government at Babylon. The city had a huge tower to unite the people and stand together against God. Though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But God, God confused their language. They couldn't speak to each other, so the people split off into groups and formed their own tribes. But they still rebelled against God and tried to conquer each other's lands. Oof, stop shooting at each other. Can't you see me up here? Somebody had to pay for these crimes. But who? And how? That's why I came to Earth, to do what no man could do. Yikes. Y you can see me? Of course, Kent. I can see everyone. Ugh, this is no fun. I told you it would give you answers. What did you learn? Never mind. Keep your reality. My truth is good enough for me, thank you. Your choice. That night. Yeah. How did you get here? Wait. I'm not wearing the goggles. You can't get away from me. I penetrate all of reality. You've spent your life running. You're out of places to hide, Kent. And now you are running out of time. Ah! All right. What did your goggles do to me? I just saw Jesus in my bedroom. Kent, the Lord Jesus Christ is more real than you can imagine. Jesus created reality. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Jesus went into the universe he created like an artist entering his own work. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. But the evil spirits recognized him. I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God, and they had to obey him. The Bible says Jesus came to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. So Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus paid in full for our sins. It is finished. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Admit you're a sinner, trust Jesus' shed blood, and ask him to forgive you. I will, Jesus. You're God, not me. I believe you died for me. Kent awakens from his coma. 
He's awake. Praise God. Jesus, please forgive me. I accept your reality over my own. Doctor, thank you for showing me Jesus. Huh? I never told anyone I'm a Christian. Thank you, God, for giving me a second chance in real life.